All right, guys, this is my first video. So, we'll see how it goes. This is a control valve body for a TR580 transmission off a Subaru, could be an Impreza, could be a Crosstrek. This one's off at Outback. Uh, if you're like me, you forgot where your nuts and long bolts on the valve body go when you disassemble it. This is an old valve body, so I am perfectly fine with drawing on it with some paint markers. I would not recommend that if the, you're putting your back in or if you have a new one, but for this old salvage one, this might help some folks out. Uh, the purple here, are the two nuts, Let's see if I can get my camera here, the purple ones are the two nuts that hold on the bolts that go through your hold on plate, hold back plate, whatever you want to call it here that holds down your solenoids. So these two purple ones here, the one to the left of where I'm pointing here, that looks like I think this is the torque converter lockup solenoid. This one here is goes all the way through to the other side. This bolt does. And then this bolt here on the opposite corner to the left of, I think this is your all-wheel drive solenoid. This one here <coughs> to the left of it that's purple also goes all the way through to the other side of the valve body. As you can see, there's the nut and there's the nut. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you wouldn't recommend marking it, if you are going to uh, reuse this, put it back in your car, this foul body's not going back in my car though. So this is just salvage for solenoids that I'm gonna keep for solenoids. So this is a good uh, demonstration valve body. Uh, like I said, this one here, you can kind of tell that it's going through to the other side. It's got the nut here. It's, uh, let's see, the second row, third one to the right. And it goes through, like I said, to this edge over here where the, to the left of this torque converter lockup solenoid. <clears throat> it's where, looks like it's where two of your grounds plug in here. You got one ground here and it looks like two grounds plug in here. So that's a good way maybe to think about it, <clears throat> is it goes through all the way where your two grounds plug in. And then it also goes through all the way here where this bolt goes all the way through to the other side and connects with a nut to the left of this. I think that's your all wheel drive solenoid. <clears throat> when you take these apart, you have to take out all of these bolts, um, but just make sure that you know which ones have the nut. Again, this one here in purple and this one here in purple. Those are the two that go all the way through. This one is right beside your lockup duty torque converter lockup duty solenoid this one i believe is right beside your all-wheel drive solenoid these are marked like an orange red because these are the bolts that you would remove when you take this out of the uh uh after you pull off your valve case so you'll take out your valve outer valve case for your transmission and this is going to be sitting in there. You take out those bolts that are marked orange there. <clears throat> I'm sure somebody else has probably got a better video than what I've got here for that. But those are the ones that come out when you pull out this valve control body or this control valve body. Um, <clears throat> when you pull out, when you go to take off the solenoids, you have... Like I said, these two here that go all the way through the valve body and have the nut on the other side. You also have five other bolts. These five are the same length. And then these two are longer and thicker. They have a tapered edge at the very end before they go to the threading, slightly tapered, I guess I should say. And these two are longer, thicker bolt. They go all the way through. That's kind of how I would distinguish the two different bolt lengths. So you should have five. No, that's actually wrong. There should be four, because I'm remembering now when I took this apart. Uh, one of these bolts, I think it's this one here, to the left of your torque converter lockup duty solenoid, to the left here, where there is just one ground, and then your uh, hold down plate 
this bolt, I believe, is actually a very short bolt. And it's the only one that is that length, maybe a half, three quarters of an inch, an inch long. It's not very long at all. And then you have these two longer ones, and then these other four, that one, that one, that one, and that one are the same size. So you have four medium length, two very long, and then one very short. The very short one goes here. So that is actually something that I probably want to mark a different color. Sorry guys, gonna mark that one. I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> and when you are pulling this apart, be very careful with your clips on the back of your solenoids. They will break. They are like surprisingly a low grade plastic, I felt like. Uh, no hate on Subaru. This is probably off a $150,000 mile car. So uh, overall, I can't complain too much, but uh, still want to be careful when that plastic gets old, it cracks. So if you're gonna salvage some solenoids from an old valve body, just keep that in mind. Um, you can see here that <clears throat> these solenoids, it looks like they're hardwired. People have said this before, they are not. <clears throat> Subaru says that it's not serviceable. I'm not a Subaru mechanic, but, uh, you know, it's my opinion. They, they look like they probably could be serviced. This part here on the bottom can come off. However, you don't have to take it off. Instead, what you do is take this piece here uh, you actually can't really see it very well from this angle, but this piece here has two little prongs right there, and it, they go into the side of the solenoid right here. And you have to pinch these prongs on either side like this while you take like a pick or a shim or something, shove it in right here in between those two black pieces you'll kind of see let's see if I can get the camera angle good you can kind of see a little crevice there between the two between this like retainer clip here and this bottom piece that covers up the bottom of the solenoid there's kind of a little crevice in between there you're going to take a pick and shove it in and as soon as it starts to this this uh, retaining clip plastic clip starts to come away from the solenoid body here when that happens, when it starts to come apart, you're going to gently push these wires back towards the solenoid and away from the clip. If you do not do that when you pull off this clip, as you start to pull it off, after it's removed from this other part, after you get this side retaining clip away from the solenoid, if you do not push these wires in while you're pulling away this clip from the solenoid, these wires hook in down here just on two little terminals. So they are not hardwired, they are not soldered, but they will destroy the terminals if you pull too quickly and do not push these wires back towards the uh, valve body. Uh, I'm sorry, back towards the uh, solenoid. These, these terminals in here are kind of a softer, uh, I'm not sure what material, but they're like a softer metal, they're fairly pliable. So if you pull this clip away too quickly and you do not uh, push these wires back towards this solenoid uh, as you're pulling away the clip, uh, they will get stuck in this retainer clip and they will take part of your terminal inside here with them. Um, I didn't break it when I pulled it apart, thankfully, but I could see that you probably could because like I said, they are kind of pliable uh, maybe slightly, uh, not very thick, maybe slightly um, brittle. So uh, some things to keep in mind. Again, this green bolt is your shorty bolt, long bolts in purple that have the nut that go all the way through. The purple, like I said, is one to the left of your torque converter lockup solenoid. This one has two grounds going to this long one. This one has no grounds, but uh, it does go all the way through, like I said, has this not on the other side. And then these other four are the same length. Uh, that's why I have not marked them. They're like a medium size and they just bolt straight into, uh, with the uh, hold down plate going over the top of these solenoids, then it holds all of these down. Another trick with this hold down plate in the solenoids, 
there is a ridge you cannot see it because it's under the hold down plate but there's a slight ridge that shoots off to the side kind of like a i don't know what you would call it it's just like a ridge flat plateau whatever <laughs> that sticks out to the side of these solenoids and that's where it will grip this hold down plate so the hold down plate is going to go over top of that uh, it's kind of hard to put these solenoids in the wrong way because of that. If this hold down plate lines up with the whole, with uh, this part of the clip and with the rest of the uh, little ridge you have coming off the side of that solenoid, there's only one way that it will come, that it will fit down into uh, the valve body. So hopefully this helps somebody. Um, leave your comments and thanks again.